Hey, 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 everybody, what's up? <laughs> Welcome, Big E here from Big E TV. And I am so excited to have my special guest, Christina Gower. Rhymes with power. <laughs> Hi, Christina. Nice to see nice you. To see you too. Or meet you, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure if we've for met sure. before. That's but the first time. Christina is the progressive New Democratic candidate here for beautiful Coquitlam Poco. British Columbia. How's it going so far? Awesome. The response is better than I could have imagined, actually. People, yeah. people are ready for us. I think most Canadians get their news from the CBC. Um, I've always thought of them being a tr trusted source until I started really analyzing the... Uh, they dedicated 25% of their broadcast focusing on the greater Toronto area. Mm. Rosemary Barton asked, so it's like, hold your nose and vote or, and the gal yeah. said, yeah, it's the lesser of two evils. Mm. Michelle Rempel's Facebook live plug uh, yesterday, it's been I think, over 700,000 views in the last wow. day. Obviously, oil and gas money behind that, oh, you know, yeah. I mean. And bots, you, I'm sure. So I'm sure those views are bots. Yeah, exactly. And it really People bothers don't care me. That much. <laughs> no, but it bothers me that, you know, it's yeah. disguised as like yeah. it's this genuine, you know, oh, yeah. it's just little old me, but there's this massive corporation behind yeah. her and this idea that, you know, it's 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 advertising disguised as information. Yeah. Another undecided said, I don't trust any of them. They make all these promises and then when they get into power, it, it's like we don't count. And then the last person said, They're terrible leaders. There isn't one of them I would vote for. So the interesting thing about this, they only framed it within conservatives and liberals. Very, very selective. The CBC is something that I very much support. Something that I think that should be legislated that it, you don't need to ask a government for increases. I think that their funding should be uh, legislated so that we always have a Canadian news source that can be objective instead of having, right. having the odd reporter that will frame everything the way that this piece came out. Because there are reporters in the CBC that do uh, report uh, fairly objectively in my opinion. Yep, because the CBC, that's owned by all of us, so you would think that that would be kind of a non-partisan yeah. thing, but it's become so, it's almost yeah. like a liberal mouthpiece now for sure. the party. Oh, sure is. Yeah, yeah, very concerning. All these techniques, when I when I look at the quotes and I hear you say them, it's all a form of um, either voter suppression or to sway uh, people away from the progressive uh, vote. I just went to an old folks home today. It was awesome. They're in their yeah. 80s and 90s and we had a chat and boy, did they see through it. What am I hearing out there? Yeah. Um, NDP uh, supporters are voting NDP. A lot of liberal voters are voting NDP, <laughs> which is great. Right, right. Conservative voters um, have signs on their lawn, which I think they're voting against the liberals. So mm -hmm. That's what I'm picking up on when I'm out there mm -hmm. talking to people. You kind of are voting for the liberals if you vote for the cons. Just liberal. It's like liberals are con light, in my opinion. So, you know, Absolutely. Yeah, the whole difference between our parties uh, are that um, uh, Jagmeet and the NDP want to serve the people. We want to fight for the people. We want to fight for the planet. Whereas uh, the liberals and conservatives have developed a power pattern where they fight for um, uh, corporations and the wealthy and elite. Absolutely. So. And what are you hearing out there from the uh, residents in your riding about what's mm -hmm. important to them? Oh, uh, climate change, number one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely number one. Um, affordability tied for number one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we live in a very yeah. expensive area. Um, so the 500,000 units of affordable housing means something. Um, and affordable, the term means something. It's mm -hmm. and, and I could never, as a housing activist, I couldn't stand behind this platform if, if it wasn't tied to income. So mm -hmm. we are, we are, when we say affordable, we mean no more than 30% of your income. So that mm -hmm. actually is a functional affordable rather than the marketing term of slightly less than market value that right, we see thrown right. around developers uh, mm -hmm. world in, in Vancouver. Jagmeet Singh, he's killing it. The English debate, yeah. one of them yep. that they had all the candidates at. Um, he was awesome. Oh, he was amazing. Yeah, wow. he cut through it and, and uh, you know, it was the same as our, like locally our debate. So, so we've had, oh, I don't know. Um, Probably about 10 appearances, I'd say, uh, multiple parties doing um, all candidates or town hall style debates, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. So um, we only saw our Conservative member come to the Chamber of Commerce one. It was the first one that we had. And it was a lot of sort of argument uh, between the, the Liberal incumbent and the Conservative candidate. Um, and it was all generalizations, nothing specific, um, and attacks on one another. And, you know... I sat there and I presented the platform of the NDP. You know, this is what we're going to do. We're right. not, not going to just get stuck and swept into um, the rhetoric uh, between parties about about who's the worst were about what do you want what's the best platform what's the best uh, way to solve our, our problems in this country and 
I wholeheartedly support uh, Jagmeet and, and uh, our party platform is incredible. I couldn't oh, do this. Yeah. I could oh, do this. Yeah. I could oh, do this. Yeah. I couldn't do it if I didn't. The least trusted profession <laughs> that we have is a politician. The most trusted profession is a nurse, and I'm a nurse. So, Whoa. but but I became a nurse as an activist. I saw um, uh, a river view or, or yeah. close. I saw uh, the, the downtown east side. Yeah, the downtown east side at the same time just kind of seesawed up, right? right and the vulnerable right. population, and it has just exploded. Behind me on these, there's a bunch of activist photos. You know, the mental health uh, part of that is, is quite big. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we we started this coalition for a healthy river view and we got the Greens and the NDP to promise to retain the lands for mental health and I will repeat that on camera over and over till I see it happen. Yeah. We will never get that asset back for mental health. So right. I'm hoping that we can find a way that works for everybody. <coughs> Sorry, buddy, you okay? Hey, don't you dare Rocky. bite me there. Yeah, no biting. <laughs> My dog's under the table growling. What if I like the platform? What if I could stand behind it? Like what What kind of a pain in the butt could I be in Ottawa as an activist? Mm -hmm. And that was like a little light going on in the top of my head. So I, I went through the, um, with the fine tooth comb and I was, I was way, it was way beyond my expectations to hear anything so comprehensive as the, as the plan um, that was put together. So I, I finally said, yes, okay, I'll do it wholeheartedly. And, mm -hmm. and um, as long as we stay in this stream, uh, I'll do it again. You know, if we're if this is where we're headed with the NDP, yeah. I will stick with it. Awesome. And I will build up this riding, and and we will keep going. We're short thirty seven thousand nurses in Canada. We, I mean, wow. that's a four or five year degree. As a party that does advocate for all peoples, and and, and often the the marginalized and the less fortunate, uh, First Nations uh, peoples. I got a question here from one of my viewers, Biggie mm -hmm. TV, and she wanted me to ask you, Alexis Gale Ellis, mm -hmm. uh, do you believe in keeping uh, LGBTQ rights, or do you want to remove them? Um, I would like to keep them. I just, <laughs> I just a... actually had my rainbow flag out earlier today, and I literally did. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, no, of course I'll keep them. I, uh, we want the same parental rights and the same marriage rights and uh, uh, benefits, uh, you know, um, extended health, that kind of thing. It, sh it should be, uh, uh, there should be equality there. I can't even imagine why you would want to take that away from somebody, uh, yeah. unless you're just a mean-spirited person. At the old folks home today, I had this old fella, he, I mean, I knew he was not going to vote for NDP. Yeah. He, he listened, just squirming and yeah, kind of yeah, looking yeah. at me, squinting. But he said at the end, he said, um, well, I'm, I'm just so you know, I'm not going to vote for you. <laughs> And I said, you know what, that's okay, because yeah. because it doesn't matter. I am still going to give you just the same care I would to everybody here. Yeah. You don't have to vote for me. But if I get in, I'm going to look after you. And you know what, if I don't get in, come to me if you need help with something, because I'll help uh, you. I don't care. That's sweet. Well, it's, it's just uh, the way it is. A word like yeah. socialism, yeah. oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't know what has happened with this imperial conditioning or this thought yeah. control, but some people just seem to have this. They hear the word socialism and they just want to... Like it sounds like sound the alarm or I like know. the world is going to end or something well, that's, like that's programmed. Powerful. You know that. It's been programmed into society, you yeah. know, um, to, to be a bad thing. It tells me we're on the right track. Um, mm -hmm. We're scaring the people that don't want to lose power. And, mm -hmm. uh, and um, you know what? You can be scared all you want. We're coming anyway. <laughs> right, right. I would love to see the NDP do more around being pro-business because... Yeah. I think it's more of a Bernie Sanders where, yeah. comment where it's not about the left wing, right wing. It's yeah. really about the nine nine. Like I've been a small yeah. business person That's my right. whole life. I oh, yeah. love business. I've had, I've had a small business. Yeah. Is before. that right? Yeah, I had a landscape company and a catering company. Yeah. So yeah. so yeah, I know 100 percent for the small businesses and the the they're the largest employers of people. There's 70 percent um, uh, of of our people are employed um, by by small business. So mm -hmm. um, we want to support them. In fact, boy, in this green economy that is about to hit us mm -hmm. big time. Will that ever be some opportunity? There are mm -hmm. billions of dollars at stake here uh, for grants and loans. And, um, you know, we want to make sure that's supported. And as a housing ag advocate, <laughs> um, you could not help but learn about the struggles of um, the commercial spaces. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, people's uh, taxes have gone up and up and up and up. Their property tax, and they can't afford it. If you if you draw, uh, go to, walk down Robson Street in mm -hmm. Vancouver, empty, 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 massive big box store, empty, empty, empty. Big, you know, because mm -hmm. nobody can afford to be there. It's mm -hmm. it kills cities, and and uh, so absolutely, we we support um, folks in their in their small businesses too. And I think that there's the answers need to be worked through within every level of government to make sure that we can all deal with things. And what's happened is the federal government has offloaded a lot of things under the province, who's also offloaded things onto municipal. And we need to 
readjust all of that so mm -hmm. that um, uh, there's not a need for so much tax at the municipal level. We need to right. start to, to reel that in um, and uh, still provide service. So we just have to tax the rich. <laughs> the richest. The richest. The richest. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I believe the NDP's platform is to take 1% or 2% of people yeah. making ridiculous 20, amounts well, of money. Well, that have assets, or, $20 million or more. And, you know, I was in a pretty high-end school yesterday talking. I said, put up your hand if your family has $20 million or more. Not a single hand. Right. Right. So this is what we're talking about. Don't play to the fear tactics where, oh, they want to tax everybody. No, not everybody. Do you know anybody that has $20 million? Bucks? I don't know mm -hmm. a soul. One or 2% tax on those over $20 million. That's going to bring in, if I remember, like tens of billions oh, yeah. of dollars. Yeah. How does the NDP plan on spending that money uh, that for Go, that'll be to affordability. That'll to affordability. that'll be rerouted directly into building um, homes for people for the mm -hmm. most part. Um, we are going to do a national pharmacare, a, a univer huge. universal pharmacare. It's not just yeah. for select people or groups yeah. or segments of the population. It's for everybody, mm -hmm. and that is going to be um, our purchase power alone uh, will be because we can buy volume um, mm -hmm. in medication. It's going to save the country four point mm -hmm. two billion dollars. 4.2 billion right there in savings. Mm -hmm. And that's not counting the the um, people that don't have to go to the hospital because they're sick. Because mm. they're not sick now because they've had their medication. Right. They call you Power Gower <laughs> here in Coquitlam, Polk or Coquitlam. Uh, Christina Gower here. She is the new Democratic candidate for this coming federal election, which, if you haven't got the memo, is only four days away now. Yeah, almost like three and a half. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. One of the things I really love about just interviewing you, Christina, and I've been interviewing uh, progressive New Democrats and Greens all week long, and I'll continue to do it right up to the very end, is that like you're a real person. Yeah. You give real answers. You talk straight. Yeah. I mean, if there's one thing I got out of the debates, it's there was this, uh, I be, it's basically out of a South Park episode. You've got a giant douche talking to a turd sandwich, <laughs> and Jagmeet Singh basically has to say, hey, you guys, you know, yeah. why don't you start focusing on Canadians' yeah. needs instead of trying to make the other, yeah. you did blackface, you're oh, an American, hey. you're <laughs> an American. <laughs> so, I'm getting them riled up here. You know what, when, when they did that, you know what they ended up succeeding in doing is avoiding answering a single damn question. You're right. Right? Like, and, and we let them get away with that. that you know, and those mics should have been cut. Not and really. I, you know what else like, they did is that they send the NDP numbers like well, that, this. <laughs> that's true. So. <laughs> so would their platform, though. If they were allowed to answer those questions, we still would have been like this. Yeah. Maybe just a little faster. Yeah. <laughs> Christina, bring it home, gal. What is it that, uh, give your value offering pitch here to the folks, good folks here, Coquitlam, Port Coquitlam. Why Christina Gower for 2019 federal election? Okay. Why me? Because I'm fighting for you anyway. <laughs> It doesn't matter if I get elected or not. I'm still going to keep fighting for you. So, yeah. so, um, so, who do you trust more to go into Ottawa and actually carry that out and work their tail off for you? Um, I spend all my spare time doing it anyway, uh, which uh, is tough to do when you work as a nurse. So that, and I'm just going to tell you this. I mean, there's 338 ridings uh, across this country, and 199 of them are in Quebec and Ontario. We don't pick our prime minister here. What we do is we pick our voice. So who do you want to represent you uh, in Ottawa? Do you want um, just to beef up the, the two parties that have always been there before? I'm a psychiatric nurse. What would I say to you about doing the same thing over and over again and expecting the same result? Insanity. It's That's what uh, Albert Einstein said. Time for change. That's it. Vote for change. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, and good luck on Monday. And thank you. Christina. Yeah. And thank you Thank you so much for well, being my you. special guest here. Thank you. Biggie TV. All right. Where it's at. All right. This is my gal. <laughs> Thank you so much. Christina Gower, Coquitlam, Port Coquitlam. Make it happen. Let's go, Canada. <laughs> Vote for her. <laughs> okay. For the dog will bite Eric. What, are you talking to the third person now? Or what? <laughs> uh, but I'm going to try to have a conversation that's a little bit bigger than ourselves. <laughs> <laughs>